In this post, I'm going to tell you about the time that I had to review over 400 student demo reels to fill some internship positions. I came away with five key insights and one sad truth. Hi friend, Tim Lannon here from AnimationInsights.com. When I worked at Real Effects, one of the roles that I had for a time was director of the apprentice program. Every six months or so, we would hire, I don't know, six to 12 interns. Uh, we called them apprentices. And we bring them in, train them to uh, work in the various departments. And if things worked out well, we would then hire them on as staff. Once we got the word out about this program, we were flooded with applications, as I'm sure you can imagine. I remember one specific session I had to review over 400 demo reels. I came away with five key insights, and I've included these insights in my course, Reels, Resume, and Research, An Animator's Guide to Getting a Job. And I'm going to share those insights with you now. Number one, you should do something that's memorable. You need to brand yourself. So have a some kind of a logo or a color scheme that ties your resume, your reel, your website, and everything else together so that you have a cohesive brand and make it something that kind of stands out from the crowd a little bit. Number two, make sure you put your best stuff first on the reel. You've probably heard this tip before, but it's especially important when you've got a lot of competition. When I was reviewing 400 reels, I did not sit and watch every single reel all the way through. If the work didn't catch my attention in the first 30 seconds, it was out of here. I didn't have time to waste. Number three, make sure you go beyond the classroom exercises. If all of your classmates are applying for the same jobs you are, and all of your work looks the same as their work, and you can tell you all have the same assignments, it doesn't help you stand out from the crowd. So you really need to develop and work on your own projects. It doesn't have to be something super huge. It can be a short six second animation, but if it's unique to you and you do a great job on it, it can help you stand out. Number four, big camera moves don't hide bad animation, especially when the camera moves themselves are pretty bad. Can't tell you how many student reels I've seen with large, sweeping, orbiting camera moves, and it's just not necessary, and it's really hard to make that kind of a camera move look good. So stick with simple camera angles and simple shot-to-shot -shot cuts. Number five, animation is about the illusion of life. Acting shots, where a character is emoting and feeling something, is what's going to help you stand out if character animation is what you're trying to get into. We need to see a character on screen that feels like a real living being. That's what animation is all about, and that's what's going to help you stand out. So what was the one sad truth? Well, unfortunately, most of the reels I saw showed me that their animation programs these students were graduating from just didn't prepare them for the industry. Their skills were lacking, their quality was lacking, their reels were lacking. They just didn't have what is necessary to get into the industry. That's part of the reason why I created AnimationInsights.com. I want to help fill in the gaps in some of that animation education. And now for a bonus tip. You want your reel to stand out from the 400 that someone has to look through? Well, knowing someone on the inside can really help your reel get seen. That's where the importance of networking comes in. These reel recommendations plus networking are just two of the items. There's actually 10 on my Animation Job Market Readiness Checklist. Are you ready for the job market? Click below to get your free copy of the checklist to find out.